I've recently watched a few videos where people have been experimenting with Dream Studio's AR image generator, so I thought I'd try to give it a few prompts to generate interesting desktop computer case designs that I could turn into a new case for my Raspberry Pi. Like with any software package, there was a bit of a learning curve in getting meaningful results out of it. I quickly discovered that putting the words Raspberry Pi into the prompt typically resulted in some sort of green PCB showing up in the image, which didn't resemble a Raspberry Pi at all, and wasn't all that useful for an enclosure. I had better success using prompts along the lines of desktop computer case or mini desktop computer, with words like modern, futuristic or high tech. Steampunk designs came up with some interesting results as well. I quite like this design that came up, and I might try to turn this into a case in a future project. This might be a project to get my resin printer out for. After an hour or so of generating images, this is the design that best caught my eye. So I'm going to try and model this design, and then adapt it to house my Raspberry Pi. The design looked simple enough to be able to 3D print, but it's also quite unique. There are a couple of issues I'll have to work around. Like I'm not really sure what's going on at the base of the case. It seems like part of the case is touching the desk at the front, but then it looks like it's elevated at the back. So I'm going to have to work something out when modeling it. To draw up a 3D model of the design, I used Fusion 360. I started off getting the general shape looking like the AI image. I then hollowed it out, added the exterior features and a window at the front. I then added the Raspberry Pi in and made port cutouts on the back and sides. I'm not sure what the blue things inside the case are intended to be, but I'm going to cut those out from some blue acrylic, and I'll stick them onto the inside of the case along with some small LEDs to light them up. To cool the pie, I added a cutout to mount a 40mm fan onto the back of the case. This will push air into the case and will exhaust air through the fine vents on the side and the gaps around the ports. I've split the design into a few different parts so that I can print them in black and white separately as I don't have a dual extruder printer. The model challenged my abilities in Fusion 360, as I don't often work with swept or angled surfaces, but I think it's come out reasonably well. I guess I'll only be able to tell once it's all put together. I then printed the case components out individually in either black or white PLA, and then removed the print supports. The 3D printed parts need a few M2.5 threaded brass inserts to hold the Pi in place, and to hold the two main case components together. I've ground two of the inserts down a bit for the lower profile arms at the front of the case that need to slot in underneath the Pi. We'll just melt these into place using a soldering iron. For cooling, I've got a 40mm RGB fan, which I've salvaged from my stash of fans on my OnlyFans Pi case. I'm going to install a mesh cover over it, as I think this will fit in well with the look of the vented side panel on the case. The fan is held in place with the M3 screws and nuts that came with it. Next let's mount the Raspberry Pi. I'm using a 2 gig Pi 4, and I'm going to add a small heatsink onto the CPU to help with cooling. There is probably enough space in the case to fit an ice tower onto it, but I'd like to keep it as open as possible so that the blue acrylic pieces and fan are visible. To hold the Pi in place, I'm going to use some M2.5 by 6mm button head screws. This fan isn't a PWM fan, and I'd like to be able to turn it on and off depending on the CPU temperature. So I'm going to use one of these Easy Fan 2 modules designed by Jeremy Cook. This tiny module allows you to use a 2 wire fan like a 3 wire fan, so that you can turn the fan on or off using one of the Pi's GPI opens. These are also great if you've got an older 5 volt Noctua fan that doesn't have PWM control. I'll put a link to his store in the video description if you'd like to try them out. I'm plugging the fan into 5 volts, ground, and GPIO 14 with a short set of jumpers. That's the bottom half of the case done, now let's get to work on the top half. 
First we need to stick these white accent pieces onto the side of the case. I'm just going to use some super glue for this. We also need to stick the small front leg onto the bottom of the case. Now let's make up the blue acrylic pieces. I laser cut some pieces from 3mm fluorescent blue acrylic, which I'll stack together to form each of the three sections. I've made up a string of three 5mm blue LEDs, and the three middle pieces have an extra cutout at the back for the LED to light them up. To make each one up, we need to peel off the protective film, then clamp the stack of five pieces together, and finally add a few drops of acrylic adhesive to the cutout to seep in between the layers and glue them together. Then we just need to do that two more times. I've also glued a white strip onto the base of each one to lighten them up a bit more when they're stuck onto the black case surface. We can then glue the LEDs into place in each acrylic piece using some hot glue. and then glue the pieces onto the inside of the case. To finish the case off, we just need to add an acrylic panel to the front. I'm going to screw the case together for this step to make it easier to handle. I'm doing this with three M2.5 by 6 mm button head screws. I then laser cut a front panel from a sheet of 2mm clear acrylic. I'm also going to stick this into place within the bezel using some super glue as we shouldn't ever need to remove it. Now we just need to plug the blue LEDs into the Raspberry Pi. I'm connecting them to 5 volts and ground. Then we can close up the case and peel off the protective film. I really like how the back fan has turned out with the black mesh over it. And that's the case complete. We just need to add our micro SD card through the slot in the front and we can then try boot it up and see what it looks like. The light up blue inserts look awesome and give the case a really unique look. The design's not all that practical but it definitely looks cool. Using a simple script to set GPIO open 14 high or low, we can also turn the fan on and off. I'll probably adapt my PWM fan script that I use on my SSD case to simple on off control for this application, but at least the functionality is here and the easy fan module is working correctly. Overall I'm really happy with how this design has turned out, and I think I managed to get it closer than I was expecting to the AI image. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below, and also let me know if you think I should try making up one of the steampunk case designs. Thanks for watching, please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more tech and electronics, projects, tutorials and reviews.